This is Twit. Joey, Long Beach, Leo Laporte, uh, the tech guy. Hi, Joey. You were talking. Hey. I, I wanted to get back to you. We were talking with you. You have a single hard drive. Well, I have I have individual computers with some pretty big drives. But what I wanted, to, I got a four terabyte um, external drive. And what I want to do and, um, is be able to because I used to do this on my Macs. I had you know on two different drives I had set up. I want to be able to be in one drive and toggle to a, a different drive. You know, and, and actually have off one. I'm I'm a little confused. Uh, so you want to boot off different drives? You want access data on different drives? I want to be able to run run. To, well, like let's say for example, I do a lot of 3D gaming. So I want to be able to say run two different games on on two, on the two different drives and go back and forth simultaneously. Well, you, and no, any given drive can only be connected to one computer at a time via USB. You, you, you can unplug it and plug it into a different computer, wait for it to mount, and then play a game off of it. But you can't have them, there's not two plugs you can plug in. No, what I, what I mean is, is like, if, if I, let's say I install an OS on the Seagate. Yeah. And then I install, let's say I install Windows 7, two Windows 7s in two different sectors. Can, is there a way I can go between? Ah, that's 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 the question then. So you have multiple operating systems, and you want to choose on when you first turn on a machine which operating system to load. You need something called a bootloader. On a Macintosh, exactly right. You hold down the Option key, and it will scan all the drives available and show you all the different uh, available operating systems and say which one would you like to boot from today. And that's that's how you boot Windows on a Mac, for instance. Uh, to do that on Windows requires a third-party operating system and also some some skills. For instance, let's say you've got an internal drive on a Windows 8 machine and you say, I would like to be able to boot Windows 7. So you have a second drive in that machine. You install Windows 7. Windows 7's installer is going to take over that machine. You'll never see Windows 8 again. So because Windows, Windows 7 doesn't know about Windows 8. If you did it in the opposite direction... If you had Windows 7 installed and you tried to install Windows 8 on a second disk, Windows 8 would say, oh, I see you have Windows 7. Would you like me to keep it and set up a dual boot system? It would do it automatically. So that if you, if you have the luxury of building this system from scratch, start with the oldest operating system first and move up through time. Each newer operating system knows about the older one. It's only when you go backwards that you cause problems. If you have already done this or you don't have the luxury of reinstalling, then you need a bootloader. And uh, we've talked about various bootloaders uh, before. Uh, I've, I've recommended in the past one that's pretty old now called Gag. It's on SourceForge. It's, it's uh, open source and free. So uh, it goes on your master boot record of your boot drive. You know, there's always one drive that's drive zero on a Windows machine that's the boot drive. That master boot record has to hold the boot manager. It will then do... Um, it will then do what the uh, Mac does and scan and say, what other operating systems? Okay, and give you a menu of the ones that you could boot to. That that one is kind of out of date, I guess. I mean, it's still available, Gag. So the chat room has in the past recommended EasyBCD. This is a little more uh, recent. does the same thing. EasyBCD. It's not free. That's the only difference. Gag is free because it's open source. So I guess uh, because we know this is up to date, uh, Neosmart.net is the publisher. And essentially, you can install it after the fact, and it will see all the different operating systems, including, by the way, non-Windows operating systems like Linux, and allow you to boot to them. So this is what you need is a boot manager and easy BCD. They say it's a, it, they're a free, free for non-commercial use. $30 for commercial, so it's still worth it. The nice thing about something like this is you can run uh, their repair program. If you do the thing that I mentioned, which is install an older operating system on top of a newer one, and it will fix that problem 